Hello and welcome to our special presentation, Crude Realities. Today has been an important day, not just for the crude oil prices, but also because Saudi Arabia's biggest oil company, Saudi Aramco, today has signed a pact with India in a planned 60 million ton refinery in Maharashtra. Getting to know the details of that and, of course, crude oil as a sector globally, we are now joined by Amin Nasir, who is president and CEO at Saudi Aramco. Mr. Nasir, hi, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, congratulations on the MOU that you have signed with India. Tell us more about the details of the deal. How much stake does Saudi Arabia or other Saudi Aramco hold into this? Yes, thank you. Uh, we are really excited about uh, signing a uh, MOU in the presence of uh, the two ministers, the Indian ministers and uh, our uh, energy minister. Uh, this is definitely a major agreement between Saudi Aramco and three uh, Indian companies, uh, Baharat Petroleum, Hindustan Petroleum and uh, Indian Oil. The three uh, companies uh, get 50% uh, of this agreement and 50% uh, for Saudi Aramco. This is a major uh, integrated refinery and petrochemical complex, uh, 1.2 million barrels per day, uh, uh, 18 million ton of chemicals uh, in the so it is a major uh, investment by Saudi Aramco in the Indian market. Hmm. Mr. Nasir, also uh, tell us about the quantum of the investment in this deal that the Saudi Aramco is putting in. What is your sense on how much more uh, are you looking at in sense of other areas being explored within India? Well, you need to take this uh, into consideration. This is a major undertaking. This is. Uh, uh, talking about here about 44 billion dollars uh, between us and our partners here in India and definitely uh, we are looking at other opportunities in the Indian market it's, there is growth uh, opportunities and we are exploring these uh, with other partners as well hmm. Uh, you know, the Indian PM today mentioned on how the math adds to and the estimate that 4.3% of energy consumption growth for next 25 years is what India is looking at. How do you uh, look at this number and how is Saudi Aramco really partnering or being part of this growth? Well, uh, as highlighted by uh, the Prime Minister, it is 4%. Your Indian market today is over 4 million barrels of import. You're looking at, by 2040, close to 10 million barrels of uh, consumption. And that is very high uh, growth rates, considering this is the fastest growth rate in anywhere in the world. Uh, the interest, uh, we are the biggest supplier of crude oil uh, in the world. We have the highest. Uh, no, reserve uh, available. We are the most reliable uh, uh, player in the market and uh, we are, uh, as I said, we have a huge interest in the Indian market and uh, we are uh, through this JV, which is 1.2 million barrels per day and hopefully through other JVs we will continue to meet and uh, participate in that growth potential in the Indian market. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Nasi, last time we spoke, it was very fresh on GST. How have you seen India settle down in its latest tax reforms, the policy reforms, etc.? And what has your observation on that? Yeah, we have. Uh, we went through a lot of things and discussions with our partners, and uh, all what we have looked at it meets our uh, requirements in terms of participation. And uh, as highlighted by His Excellency today uh, in the interview that uh, the reforms introduced by uh, the Prime Ministers and uh, all are on the right directions, helping uh, bringing additional investment to the Indian market. 
Hmm. Mr. Nasir, I'm sure uh, wherever you go, whoever you talk to, it is the Saudi Aramco IPO, which is a question that you get asked all the time. Uh, what is your sense? Are we still looking at uh, the timelines being followed? Is it going to be the second half of 2018? Is the date pushed to 2019, though? Well, uh, from Saudi Aramco side, the process for listing Saudi Aramco is an on track. Let me put it that way. It, mean, it, it means the preparation for uh, listing the company in the second half of 2018 is uh, ready. Uh, the listing will uh, definitely happen in the, the local stock exchange in the kingdom. With regard to which venue, which other market other than Saudi Arabia and the timing, it's a, a process that is being looked at by the government. Uh, so when and where is the government will, will decide uh, on, uh, on, on the listing. That would be all, Mr. Amin Nasir. Always a pleasure to have a conversation with you. Well, that's the statement coming in from Saudi Aramco that investment is scarce when it comes to energy as a sector. And that's exactly what we have seen today. One of the biggest MOUs sound in the energy sector between Saudi Aramco and three of the major Indian oil companies as well. Well, that's all that we have on this conversation. Thank you so much for watching.